2,000 men shed their blood and thousands sacrificed their lives for their brothers, for their countries, and for the survival of liberty. Those who fought here won a future for our nation. They won the survival of our civilization. These men ran through the fires of hell, moved by a force no weapon could destroy. The fierce patriotism of a free, proud, and sovereign people. And they showed us the way to love, cherish, and defend our way of life for many centuries to come. And our children and their children will forever and always be free. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome World War II hero, William Peckrell. Thank you very much. My name is Bill Peckrell. I'm a proud Wisconsinite. Proud. I'm a proud husband of 76 years old to my wife, Rosemary. I'm, I'm a father of 11 children. Six girls, five boys. our family across five generations and a proud World War II veteran. I'm 90, 98 years old. Some call us the greatest generation. That's, that's an honor, considering America is the greatest nation in the history of the world. I will never forget and witness the horror of the Nazis' war camps in the Battle of the Bulge, my friends and I fought to stop the Nazis' last major push in the Western Front. A few months later, Hitler was dead. Hitler was dead. The, Nazi, the Nazis were defeated. We were, and we gave thanks to Almighty God for delivering us from evil. But not, but not many of us came home. I still miss a lot of my friends on that beach. And we're, there were many of us left. There aren't many of us left today. But for us, those who of us who are here, that America is still worth fighting for. It hurts my heart to see what our current president and vice president have done to the country I love so well. 
the humil humiliated us in Afghanistan again. We pushed around in China. Terrorists run wild in the Middle East and they let our own southern border get overrun. America, people say, people is, is an, America is an idea, but I believe America is much more than that. America, America is our home. You know, and I was fighting in Europe, and I came back home. I kissed the ground, thanking God that I'm back home in our, my country. And where I come from, when somebody comes for me, or my home, you dig in your boots in the ground and never look back. <clears throat> That's the attitude that saved the free world and those years ago. And President Trump, back in commander in chief, I would go back to re-enlist today And I, I was storm whatever beach you want, my country wanted to, needs me to. <laughs> God bless you. God bless our home. And the United States of America.